Thank you for your purchase of the Coates 1250 wheel balancer with laser guided operation. This video will guide you through many of the features, uses, and recommendations of your new balancer. Principal operating parts. Maximum performance and safety will be obtained only when all persons using the unit are fully trained in its parts and operation. Each user should learn the function and location of all controls. You can prevent accidents and injuries by ensuring the unit is properly installed, operated, and maintained. These are the principal operating parts. Control panel. 220 volt UL approved plug. On off and circuit breaker. Weight tray with dual pockets for weights through two ounces. Deep pockets through four ounces. Laser guided operation system, including the weight placement location laser and the alloy plane location laser. Cone spring. Spindle shaft. Offset arm, which measures A and D of tire wheel. Hood guard. Control panel components. Weight display and weight position LEDs. Two weight display windows, one inboard left plane and one outboard right plane, are positioned above the wheel cross-section diagram. After a wheel measurement cycle, the balancer calculates the corrective weight amount and indicates it in the appropriate display window. All weight readings can be programmed to be shown in ounces or grams by pressing shift and nine. The total static window indicates the value of the total static unbalance. Located on either side of the wheel cross section diagram are the weight position LED bars, one inboard left plane and one outboard right plane. After a measurement cycle, rotate the wheel until the center weight position LED bar is blinking, indicating the correct weight placement position is at top dead center. When in laser mode, T2 tape laser locator, Special blinking bars appear on either side of the center bar to indicate the correct weight placement position. Mode indicators. The LED of each mode will illuminate to indicate the mode is activated. Modes are as follows. Operator A or operator B. When illuminated, indicates which operator memory is selected. Match balance. When illuminated, indicates that the match balance optimization mode is activated. RV mode. When illuminated, indicates that the half ounce RV heavy wheels mode is activated. Laser. When illuminated, indicates that the laser guided operation system is activated. Dynamic or static. When illuminated, indicates which balancing mode is selected. Behind spoke. When illuminated, indicates that the behind spoke mode is activated. Spoke one or spoke two. When illuminated, indicates which spoke location is selected. Direct select weight location. Before spinning the wheel, use direct select to indicate weight placement locations as follows. When the machine is turned on, the balancer default is in the two plane dynamic mode using standard clip on wheel weight locations, clip one and clip two, and wheel dimensions. Clip one. Select this location when a standard clip weight is used on the inboard rim flange. T1 tape. Select this location when an adhesive weight, hidden weight, is used on the horizontal plane at the outer edge of the inboard side of the wheel. Patch static. Select this location when a patch weight is used that is centered inside the tire. T2 tape. Select this location when an adhesive weight, hidden weight, is used on the horizontal plane at the inner area of the inboard side of the wheel. T3 tape. Select this location when an adhesive weight, hidden weight, is used on the horizontal plane on the outboard edge of the wheel. Clip 2. Select this location when a standard clip weight is used on the outboard rim flange. Information box. The information box displays values, functions, and instructions for the operator for A for distance, W for width, and D for diameter. Error messages will also be shown in this display. Balance options. The LED will illuminate to indicate the balance option. Functions are as follows. Dynamic static.
Press to cycle through either a dynamic mode, a dynamic mode with total static displayed, or a static balance mode. Behind spoke. Toggle the behind spoke option on or off. Spoke 1, spoke 2. Toggle to set the spoke 1 location and the spoke 2 location for adhesive weights, hidden weights. Keypad group. The operator will enter wheel data information, select functions, and set options using these keys. Numbered keys are used to enter wheel data values. Calibrate machine. Press and hold the shift key and press 1 to activate the calibrate machine mode. We will discuss calibration in more detail later in the video. RV light truck. Press and hold the shift key and press 4 to toggle between either the quarter ounce light truck, most wheels, or half ounce RV heavy wheels mode. The default is light truck. Match balance. Press and hold the shift key and press 5 to select the match balance mode. Round off. Press and hold the shift key and press 6 to toggle between either 1 quarter ounce or 1 one hundredths ounce weight increments. The default is quarter ounce. Operator AB. Press and hold the shift key and press 7 to toggle between two operator memories, A or B. The default memory is operator A. Hood start. When on, sets the balancer to automatically start the spin cycle as soon as the hood is lowered completely and the hood safety interlock system is engaged. Press and hold the shift key and press 8 to toggle hood start on or off. The default is on. Ounce, gram. Press and hold the shift key and press 9 to toggle between either ounce or gram weight measurements. The default is ounce. Stop and exit. Press stop to end a measurement cycle or exit a function. Start. Press start to begin a measurement cycle if the hood is lowered. Next, this function key is used when accessing balancer instructions. Shift. This function key is used when accessing balancer modes or options. Mounting the wheel on the spindle shaft. Avoid back injury. Seek assistance when lifting heavy tire rim assemblies onto the balancer shaft. Select the most appropriate mounting method for the wheel you are balancing. Using the proper method ensures secure mounting and safe balancer operation and prevents damage to the wheel. On most wheels, the inner side of the wheel hub usually has the most uniform surface for wheel balancing. Always center the wheel by the most uniform shaped side of the hub to achieve the most accurate balance. Regardless of mounting type, always make sure that the wheel is forced firmly against the shaft faceplate and that the hub nut engages the threaded shaft for at least four complete turns. To assist in centering the wheel properly, rotate the wheel and the shaft while tightening the hub nut. Dynamic balance, two clip-on weights. Turn the machine off, then on, resetting the machine. The machine wakes up in the two-plane dynamic mode using standard clip-on wheel weight locations and wheel dimensions. Mount a tire and wheel assembly on the balancer that will use standard clip-on wheel weights. Use the most appropriate mounting method. Always remove any weights already attached to the wheel. Enter A and D wheel dimensions using the offset arm. For automatic measurement, pull offset arm out to the wheel, hold it still, at clip-on weight position against the wheel flange and wait for the beep. The A and D dimension values are in the information box. Enter width wheel dimension. Using calipers, measure wheel width and enter a width value between 2 and 20 inches. Note the W dimension value in the information box. Lower the hood or press start. Wheel spins and unbalances are measured and displayed. The corrective weight amount appears in the control panel weight display window for left and right planes of the wheel. Raise the hood after the tire stops rotating. If the hood is raised before the end of spin, an error will appear. Wait for the weight amounts to display before raising the hood. Rotate the wheel until left side center bar is blinking. Attach the left side corrective weight. Attach specified corrective weight amount at top dead center on inside flange of wheel. Rotate wheel until right side center bar is blinking. Attach the right side corrective weight. 
Attach specified weight amount at top dead center on outside flange of wheel. Lower the hood to re-spin the tire and wheel assembly and check balance. Your weight readings should be zero. Dynamic balance, alloy mode using laser guided operation. Direct select weight position clip one or T1, then select T2 tape laser locator to activate the laser guided operation feature. This direct select weight location is used when placing adhesive weights, hidden weights at the inner area of the wheel and is the required weight location selection for the behind spoke mode. Begin by mounting the wheel assembly, making sure that T2 tape is selected at the outer right side weight location. Note, the laser locator beam activates and starts blinking on the wheel assembly. Rotate the laser knob to position the laser locator dot at the desired weight plane location. To enter the wheel measurements, pull the offset arm out to the wheel and hold it still at the clip-on weight location and wait for the beep. Then move the offset arm to the inner area of the wheel. Press the button on the alloy plane laser. This activates the laser. Position the arm to the desired hidden height position. This allows you to align the tip of the arm with the weight placement laser dot. Hold in position and wait for the beep. Return the arm to home position. Lower the hood to start. When the unbalance is displayed, attach the left side corrective weight at top dead center as indicated by the flashing bar in the left side screen. Rotate the wheel and stop when the right side center weight position LED bar is steady with the two outer bars blinking. The laser locator dot will not be blinking. Apply the adhesive corrective weight such that the laser locator dot points to the center of the weight. Respin tire wheel to check balance. behind spoke. T2 tape mode only. Is used to balance with two adhesive weights located behind the spokes in the outer correction plane. Direct select weight position clip one or T1 then select T2 tape laser locator to activate the laser guided operation feature. 